Da, 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 da. Hello one and all and welcome back to Let's Play Empyreon Galactic Survival with me, Eki Thump. I'm here on Omicron in creative mode with our new capital ship. Pretty cool, huh? This is the Atuin class star botherer. Now I've spent a few days um, building this, that's why there haven't been any videos. I'm quite pleased with how it turned out, especially since this is the first capital ship I've ever designed. And uh, pretty good timing, turns out, to be building a capital ship, because in the middle of everything, Elion dropped Alpha 2.0 which introduced among other things these fantastic hangar doors so yes we now have doors that vehicles can fit through which is good because before the update this was just an open space and this hangar door looks a lot better uh, these 9x5 hangar doors these were actually introduced in a hotfix because originally uh, Patch 2.0 dropped, and we all went, yay, hangar doors! And then we realised, oh, but they're all even numbers of blocks wide. You know, that's not very good. They don't fit in our constructions. So we complained on the forums, and yeah, within a couple of days, Elyon brought out three more hangar doors. So, well done, Elyon. Uh, pretty good response time there. Let's take a tour of the capital ship. Uh, this is where we'll park the hover vehicle. Oh, this is so cool. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the new uh, theme song, by the way. That's going to be on every video from now on, and I'm going to be releasing a dance mix which will be available on iTunes. I jest, of course. Uh, so, we come up from the hover bay. Here we are in the cockpit. Uh, lots of uh, lovely lighting. Uh, we've got the blue steel theme going on, uh, sort of held over from the base on Acura. We've got the cockpit, the uh, O2 station here, and a medic station. And Elevators down to the hover bay, and let's come up here. So, to the left, we have some farms. Uh, we have, in each corner of the ship, we have an RCS unit, uh, which actually gives it a fair amount of agility. I mean, I've had a whiz around in space with it, obviously. So, we've got enough farm plots to build, as far as I know, um, nine of every crop in the game, which should keep us going for a while. We've got a, a bit missing here. Um, it looks nice and it reduced the build costs, so why not? Up here we have another O2 station and a rack of fridges and a food processor. Through here is the ship's warp drive along this gangway and this up here above Great Artuin's head is where we'll be parking our small vessel and uh, we have this version has these massive capital ship artillery artillery turrets the version we'll be building in survival mode does not have these purely because um, I can't afford to build them at the moment these will probably end up being minigun turrets um, I'll take you up top in a bit there are three more turret points above so through this door We've got another gangway to the O2 storage, another O2 station, there's the warp drive again. Down here we've got lots of space for cargo, lots and lots of space. Advanced constructor slotted in there. We've got a clone chamber. And let's go back up to the, the head. No, nope, not that way. Shit. I just built this ship and I'm getting lost in it. So you pop open the doors, and these open automatically when uh, you fly up to them with SV, or at least they're supposed to. I haven't tried it out myself yet. And up on top, which I haven't uh, put in a way to access, um, but we'll figure out a way, I'm sure. So we've got three more spaces for capital turrets. We've got a bunch of directional thrusters. And the whole thing is given forward motion by loads and loads and loads of directional thrusters. 
Um, I was originally just going to stick a couple of extra large thrusters in there, in these slots. Then I brought the thing down into the atmosphere, and holy god, do extra large CV thrusters consume a lot of power in atmosphere. A lot of power. Um, the original version I brought down to test it out, I mean, I'll show you the power core actually. Uh, the original version like pops up to about 186 percent power usage uh, when i brought it into the atmosphere which is uh not good and before i show you that these are another excellent addition um we had armored window blocks already they've gone ahead and added slanted armored window blocks so now we've got this really cool cockpit where we've got full 360 degree visibility into space and out onto lovely lovely uh, Omicron and yep this whole setup is powered at the back here by one two three four five six seven eight large generators uh, I don't know if that seems excessive or not um, it just about runs everything um, when I have the, the thrusters firing on this ship in the atmosphere, bear, bearing in mind that the lift is provided by um, 16 uh, normal CV thrusters attached to the legs of the turtle, uh, the whole thing runs at about 80% power. Um, we've got uh, absolute crap ton of space for fuel, and nestled in the corner here we've got the warp drive tank. So yeah, all pretty good. Now one drawback with this build, uh, which I didn't really keep track of while I was building it, is the price. Bear in mind this is the completely unarmed version. We've got uh, almost 26,000 iron, 13,000 sathium, 4,600 cobalt, etc, 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 along with 90 grain plots. Um, only uses 10 zascosium, 10 arrestrum, which is for um, something or other, I can't remember. Oh, it's for the power coil and the advanced constructor. Uh, does that seem like a lot? I don't know. I mean, the template CVs cost about 4,000 iron. Um, so, yeah, probably is a lot. But, you know, go big or go home. Uh, I'll just bring you around and show you the head of the turtle. So, there we've got space for uh, three of the manual fire uh, forward facing CV weapons. I've got pulse lasers in that slot at the moment. I don't even know if I can do. See if you rocket launchers, I'll have to check. But anyway, um, yeah, pretty cool update. Pretty cool capital ship. Uh, great Atuin. Great Atuin, named after the creature in the Terry Pratchett novels, for those who don't know. He is the giant turtle that carries Discworld on his back. Um, and when I started building this thing, I put the cockpit on there, and uh, it reminded me of a turtle. So now we are going to travel the galaxy in great Atuin, the great world turtle. We are going to be Imperion's first Kelonauts, or Kelonauts, possibly. I don't know, I've never heard that word spoken, only seen it written down. Um, does anyone know if these do anything? Uh, capital vessel landing gears? They don't seem to. Um, if I land with the thrusters firing, gears or no gears, uh, the thrusters still seem to keep firing. So I'm not sure what purpose they serve, but they do uh, they are actually quite stylish looking at them. They look like little soccer pads on the bottom of the turtle's feet. So yeah, uh, they can stay there. Anyway, um, I need to get back into survival mode. And I know we have a lot of crap saved up from the conquest of Acua. I'm 99.9% .9 sure we don't have in nearly enough crap to actually build this thing. So I've got to figure out how the hell I'm going to acquire 26,000 odd iron. And, uh, well, we're going to have to go into space and get some extra sathium. There is absolutely no way on Earth I have, it in, like, what was it, 13,000 sathium saved up. So, yeah, I'm going to get busy, and I'll see you in a second. All right, I have emptied out the loot boxes of basically everything I didn't need, and here is the final tally. So I had 1,500 iron, which leaves me needing about 23,500. I had some hardened steel and steel plates lying around, which gave me about 200 sathium. Uh, still need about 13,000 of that. Uh, nicely, we had about 1,000 cobalt, which is um, like components and computers and all that stuff. And 
quite a lot of silicon. We actually had about two thirds of the copper we need, which is nice. A bit of neodymium in those uh, CPUs we had, and seven grown plots, which I got from somewhere. So that brings the total production time down from about 15 hours to about 13 and a half hours. So, well, I mean, we've got to do it, haven't we? We've got to build the thing. I'm definitely going to build the thing because I spent three days designing it. So, um, one thing I might try, um, we have tried like pre-building crap and putting it in the factory and it turned out that didn't really reduce the time at all. One thing I might try still is going to that abandoned mine and literally ripping the place apart from top to bottom and seeing if that helps any. Because uh, those blocks seem to be largely made uh, with sathium steel which might help a great deal depending on like how much it reduces the building time but I mean we've got to reduce the well we've got to make use of the resources that we have here on Acura um, because really I don't want to go and mine and process you know 13,000 iron ore to get the 26,000 iron we need is there that much on Acura? I don't even know we, we still have the moon we can play with uh, which is pretty much unexploited. So here's the thing, uh, we were warned in the patch notes that uh, a fresh start might be a good idea because plants might do weird things. Um, plants have done weird things. A tree has grown in the middle of our base. You'll recall I did clear this island of trees, it has uncleared itself. Oh and check it out. The massive rock has removed itself and it's left its divot in the ground. It's replaced by a tree. Uh, pity we didn't build the damn ship out of wood. Oh, and we've got another one of those terrain glitches over here, it looks like now. Yeah, I just ran past some seaweed. Here's a blue crystal, here's an alien thorn, there's some coral. So, yeah, that hasn't been fixed. But it's far from the worst, is it? Alrighty then. Uh, I suppose the next move is to uh, hop back in the striker and head off back to the abandoned mine, dig a couple of blocks out, see how that goes. Um, gotcha, I really don't want to spend resource. Oh, fuck's sake, there's a tree in the hangar. I don't want to spend resources on anything else other than the capital ship. But I wonder if it might be worth spending a little bit just to put some hangar doors on this place. That would look pretty nice. Um, but no, let's stay on task. I uh, won't worry about it now. Okay, I'm going to hop in the ship and... Oh, Jesus. This Has this been updated? It's been so long since I've been back here at the base that I can't remember what some of these textures look like. I'm sure that that is nicer than the way we left it. That seems to have been like upgraded in detail. Yeah, I'm sure it has. Uh, this game is really coming on, isn't it? Really coming on. Everything looks nicer. We've got new features. Pretty cool. All right, uh, back to the ship. Um, I'm going to repair it first. And I'll uh, see you at the abandoned mine. And here we are back at the abandoned mine. So um, I didn't really go into the reason why it's so expensive. The fact is that I've built the entire superstructure of the turtle from combat steel instead of hardened steel. And believe it or not, I've actually managed to reduce the cost by several thousand by taking out internal walls from the place. Yeah, uh, that stuff is really, really expensive. Um, I didn't even realise when I started building it. But here we are, back at the abandoned mine. Should be a lot less scary this time. Um, this place too has been afflicted by the curse of new trees that seems to have taken over Acua. I'm not sure if this counts as uh, ironic or not. Here we are mining out a mine for its resources. Um, 
yeah, seems a bit odd to me. Even so, um, it's now particularly important to make use of what we have at hand because one of the changes in patch 2, I think it is in 2.02, .02, is that we no longer have uh, resource meteorites spawning in single player mode. Shit. Hello, structural integrity. Uh, we no longer have resource um, asteroids in single player mode, which are sort of backup um, resources that would spawn once you'd mined out you know, whatever percentage of what was natively on the planet. But we are now limited to what we can find. For fuck's sake. Do uh, what we can find spawned uh, in game. Not that it's terribly limiting in single player, because we do have the entire galaxy to ourselves. But, yep, um, it does mean that eventually we'll drain Accu dry, and we'll be forced to move to another planet whether we like it or not. Uh, which is good, really, because um, one of the critiques of the game is that survival, frankly, is a bit easy. You know, you get your stuff set up at the start of the game, and apart from the occasional bit of Prometheum, um, that's it, you know. Um, you can survive indefinitely, and just staying in one place. Alright, I've used half a multi tool charge on dismantling the base so far. Just stopped off for a quick check on how we're doing. So we've got 171 steel plates. 72 hardened steel plates, 6 electronics, 11 components, 4 computers, 28 glass plates. Not so bad, not so bad. Um, I think this is definitely worth pursuing because this structure actually tears down fairly quickly. Um, I don't know if the multi tool has been upgraded or. Well, I don't know what it is. But this is a hell of a lot faster than mining. So I'm going to carry on doing this until I run out of charges. And we'll see where we stand once I've ripped out this entire base. My god, this thing is quick. Look at it, it's one shot in all of these blocks. And someone explain to me how that works, by the way. Um, I can one shot a hardened steel block. But those deco antennas and all that kind of crap. And windows take two hits. Peculiar. Oh, and yes, uh, that's one thing to note in this patch. We've had a change of uh, nomenclature. We no longer have a remove and repair tool, we now have a multi-tool. And the R&R &R charges have been renamed to multi-charges. Um, the difference is that this tool is now capable of upgrading blocks as well as repairing and destroying them. Um, like I, you may see it flash up very occasionally as I'm going along here, that these blocks could be upgraded to combat steel. Um, I haven't played around with it, I haven't had the chance, I've been in creative mode building Great Atuin. So I'm not sure which button you press or anything like that, but yeah, the option is now in the game to upgrade presumably steel to hardened steel and hardened steel to combat steel. Another change they've made, sadly, is that repairing blocks now actually uses up the multi tool charge. Now, it used to be free, it isn't anymore. And, you know, I'm glad that uh, despite the weirdness with the trees and the kind of vegetation respawn that's gone on, uh, I'm really glad we don't strictly have to restart the game. Because um, I've really been looking forward to like getting Atuin out there. Um, and just having to start again would be pretty crushing at this point. Um, I mean, having to delay it while we built another SV, another HV, take on those bases again, grab the resources again. I mean, we've, we've been here hours, hours and hours getting to this point. Um, sadly, 
apart you know apart from the bugs that you encounter that is the other peril of alpha gaming yeah. sometimes you know your world just has to be restarted happens in seven days to die you know happens in subnautica happens in a lot of the games i play because i play a lot of early access games um but yeah i am determined to keep this world at least for a while we'll probably be all right when we get to like, omicron and the rest of the place because the moon it doesn't really have a lot in the way of decoration and so Aqua is the only world in this seed where we've actually been in and spawned you know the play field so hopefully um, yeah won't see too many problems once we actually get out there into space and we're pretty much done with Aqua I and mean, we're only still here because we need stuff to build the stuff to get off the planet so not too worried so, uh, what else has been new that's been relevant to us in this alpha? Um, well, we we have actually seen uh, difficulty settings introduced to the game. Um, it's a fairly detailed uh, set of stuff. Um, I haven't checked what the default for, for like, the world that we're on is. I assume everything's just on normal. But uh, yeah, that could be interesting uh, if we do do a restart there's a whole different bunch of parameters you can go through um, they oh they've added a player marketplace which uh, I mean, people who play multiplayer uh, seem pretty hype about it um, I can kind of understand it because the trading system was pretty much non-existent before um, you just dump things on the ground basically and people pick them up uh, as you do in seven days to die which coincidentally is another game I play coincidentally is another game that in the near future will be getting well not a marketplace system but it will be getting uh, like a trading update uh, with vendors introduced to the game um, I wonder if that would be cool to see in this game um, you know if it was a bit less you versus everyone or like you versus everyone except the Talon Guardians and the Talon Guardians as well if you mess with them. Whether there should be like uh, neutral races who don't really care and will uh, trade with you and upgrade your stuff and so on and so forth. Um, one thing I really do hope they change is this uh, tech tree. I mentioned at the start of the Let's Play that it seemed to be a gate that you know prevented you from accelerating too quickly which it was at the early early levels um, the whole first episode you know was me running around trying to get level three but as we've gone through um, I've been getting a load of XP just from playing the game and you know we we've not properly left Akua yet and I'm level capped you know I've got everything I've unlocked everything in the tech tree I have points left over to unlock new stuff that comes out. So I made the suggestion on the forums that uh, perhaps they should do away with the tech tree and as far as technology goes just let materials be the gating factor. Which is what they've been for us because my god could we do with you know, a few thousand more Erestrium Zascosium for power coils. And replace it instead with some kind of perk based system. Uh, so you know as you level up you can uh, like increase your breath time underwater you know your oxygen decay um, hunger decay you could make little improvements to crafting so for example uh, when you crafted an item that needs power it would use up one or two percent less power per you know perk point um, I think that would be good um, to see character progression rather than necessarily technology progression because that, that, that's weird um, the lights have very strange structural integrity um, some of them fall down some of them don't yeah your um, your character is pretty much a blank uh, cipher in the game you know the character never progresses at all he never says anything um, He's an entirely empty empty vessel that essentially never changes, and you can only customize him in terms of like hair color and armor color. It would be cool if you could actually uh, specialize your character, kind of. 
Um, not specialised in the sense that you, you know, you'd do one thing and you wouldn't be able to do anything else. Because in a game that's obviously intended to be played single player, that's not going to work. Um, but, uh, you know, just to, to, to feel like your character's making progress. Uh, is basically what I'm saying. Um, that would be a more interesting use of XP, I think. Uh, I'm not sure what people think about that. Oh yeah, and uh, how could I forget? Um, they've added uh, new interior doors, uh, including a door which I've actually used on Atuin, um, but didn't point out the sliding glass door. Um, if you go back and look at that, you'll notice actually that the texture is slightly odd. Um, it's an interior door, but it has a star field. Um, yeah, I don't know what that's about, but uh, you know, it looks uh, it looks good. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for the patch. Um, and I don't mean to understate the size of it because I understand they've done uh, you know engine upgrades and stuff as well so there's a lot that's gone on under the hood and it is a pretty pretty big content patch um, there's lots you know they've, they've shown that they can do quite a lot um, the hangar doors are interesting with the, um, the you know the massive um, placeable blocks um, I think possibly the biggest we've seen. Or, well, the warp drive is fairly big. Um, maybe not the biggest we've ever seen. Um, but the point is, it's nice to have these um, like single blocks that you manufacture and then pick the size of, which is a thing I really don't think we've seen before. You can pick the shapes of like these building blocks. But yeah, the hangar doors, um, you build a hangar door and you uh, right click when you want to place it down and you pick from what is now one of six sizes for it. Okay now this will be the real test. We've ripped out all of the like, above ground layer of the mine. We've completely destroyed the office block, we've taken down the walls, uh, the covering over this entrance to the actual mine itself. So let's see how much we can save ourselves in the F2 screen. We've got I mean, several thousand steel plates, so from 1649 to 2648, not bad. And that's, oh, and a little bit more, 2831, and that's down to 13 hours, 5 minutes. Uh, hardened steel plates, so let's keep an eye on Sathium. Very nice, that's up about 400 and we're down below 13 hours. Got a little bit of extra crap. Yeah, this is definitely the way to go. All right, um, well, this is basically what I'm gonna be doing for the next several hours in game. Um, I won't make you sit and watch me take apart the whole mine. Um, I'm sure there'll be some hilarious structural integrity related scrapes I get into. Um, but they'll make interesting stories when I cut back in. Um, so that's it. Uh, fairly short and to the point video today. I um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I've been Eki Thump. This has been Let's Play Imperial Galactic Survival episode 11 now. Um, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more Imperion. And I will see you next time.